please use this handout to follow along with the lesson. We're looking at first and second differences in this lesson, and the whole point of this is so that you can tell the difference between linear and quadratic relations. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a table of values for this equation, and then we're going to calculate first differences and second differences. And then we're going to see what they tell us about the relationship. So first, if x is minus 4, what is the value of y? Well, y is equal to 2 times whatever x is plus 1. So if x is minus 4, 2 times minus 4, that's minus 8, plus 1, that's minus 7. And you can keep going. If x is minus 3, what is y? Well, it's 2 times minus 3, which is minus 6, plus 1. That's minus 5. So spend the next minute to figure out what the rest of the table of values is equal to. Pause the video and try it. So these are the rest of the values. Now, what am I talking about with first differences? One way you can think about first differences is that it's the difference between your successive y values. And you can think of that as, as I move from this value down to this value, am I increasing or am I decreasing? And by how much? So if you think of your number line or a thermometer, if you're starting at minus 7 and you're ending at minus 5, have you increased or have you decreased? Well, if you think about a thermometer in terms of temperature, you're getting warmer, so we would say you're going in the positive direction. And you're going in the positive direction by two units. So our first difference between these values would be plus two. And if you travel from negative five to negative three, you're also increasing by two. In fact, with all of these, from one to the next, you're increasing by two every time. Now I'm going to stop right here for now and just tell you what's going on. Well, if the first differences are all identical, this tells me that the relationship is linear. So if you have an equation and you want to know if it's linear, you can make a table of values, find the first differences, and if they are all identical, you know that the relationship is linear. Now here we have a different relation. y is equal to x multiplied by x plus 1. But we're going to go through the same process. We're going to find the table of values, calculate first differences, and then calculate second differences. And then we'll talk about what that means. So first off, let's fill out the table of values. If x is minus 4, then y is equal to minus 4 multiplied by, in brackets, minus 4 plus 1. So let's start with the brackets. Minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3. Multiply that by minus 4. So we have minus 4 times minus 3. That's going to be a positive number, positive 12. So pause the video and try the rest to calculate the y value for each of these x values. So here you are. If you didn't get these numbers, this is something that you should ask me about so I can help you figure out what went wrong. Otherwise, let's keep going. Let's find the first differences. So just like we did before, we're going to go from, from this value to this value. From 12 to 6, we are decreasing, so we're going in the negative direction. By how much? By 6. And from 6 to 2, we're decreasing by 4. From 2 to 0, we're decreasing by 2. From 0 to 0, we are not changing, so that's a change of 0. And then we start increasing each time. Up 2, up 4, up 6, up 8. Now you'll notice this time the first differences are not identical. 
So now let's try the second differences. Well, the second differences, we just do the same thing as we did to find the first differences, except we're using these numbers. So as I travel from negative 6 to negative 4, I'm going in the positive direction, so I'm increasing by 2. From negative 4 to negative 2, I'm increasing by 2. In fact, from 1 to the next, we increase by 2 for each of them. The first differences are not all equal, but the second differences are all equal. So because of this, we can tell that this relation is quadratic. So when the first differences are all equal, we know our relation is linear. And when the second differences are all equal, we know our relation is quadratic. I want to go through an example, and this example deals with a quadratic relation. And if you'll recall, you can write a quadratic relation with three different equations that tell you three different things about the graph. This is the vertex form, so it tells us the vertex. This is standard form, so it tells us the y-intercept. And this is factored form, so it tells us the x-intercepts. So if we look at our numbers and we remember what the numbers tell us, we know that the, this number and this number tell us the coordinates of the vertex. So for this relation, the vertex has coordinates negative 2, comma, 5. Standard form tells us the y-intercept. So in this case, the y-intercept is minus 15. So its coordinates are 0, comma, minus 15. And factor form tells us the x-intercepts. So our x-intercepts are minus 3 and minus 1. So the coordinates would be minus 3, 0, and minus 1, 0. Now the reason I bring this up is because these four points you already know so when you're to make a table of values you don't have to do any calculations to figure those out so for example the vertex happens when x is minus 2 y is 5 so in our table of values when x is minus 2 we already know that y is 5 and because we know the y intercept we know that when x is 0 y is minus 15. So same thing in our table of values. When x is 0, y is minus 15. When x is minus 3, y is 0, but that's not on our table of values, so that's not really helpful for this. But when x is minus 1, y is 0. So if you know what the different values in your equations mean, it can save you a little bit of work when you're making a table of values. But now all these x values, I don't know what the corresponding y value is, so now I'm going to have to use one of these equations to do my math. So you can choose either the vertex form or the standard form or the factored form in order to do your calculations. You just have to pick your favorite form. I'm going to choose factored form because it doesn't have any exponents in it, so I just find it a little bit easier to work with. So when x is 1, we replace x with 1 in the equation. So we end up with y equals minus 5 times 1 plus 3 in brackets times 1 plus 1 in the other brackets. So 1 plus 3 is 4, 1 plus 1 is 2, so we have negative 5 times 4 times 2 and that equals negative 40. Pause the video and figure out the rest of the table of values and then come back to see how you did. You should end up with these numbers and if you didn't let me know so I can come to you and help you figure out what went wrong. Otherwise, let's move on. I want you to pause the video again, and this time, calculate the first differences. Here are the first differences. And you can see 
they're not identical, which means that this is not a linear relation, which backs up what we already know. We know this, this is a quadratic relation. We're going to have a parabola. So we would now expect that the second differences are all equal. So let's just verify that that is the case. So pause the video and calculate the second differences. So that is indeed what we find. All the second differences are equal. They equal minus 10. So just to summarize, if you make a table of values and you calculate the first differences and they're all identical, that means you're dealing with a linear relation. But if you find that the first differences are not all the same, then calculate the second differences. And if the second differences are all equal, then you know you're dealing with a quadratic relation. If the second differences are not the same, then you're dealing with some other type of relation which we haven't talked about yet. So if that makes sense, that's good. You can move on to the practice questions. Otherwise, let me know how I can help.